liberty and about recognizing you as an alternative to the brutal regime in Iran. But today, tragically, we're forced to deal with something more immediate. Today, we're forced to deal with murder, cold-blooded murder that occurred just a few hours ago. Shame on the United Nations and shame on the United States Department of State. Shame on you! These uh, murders this morning did not have to take place. They should not have taken place. There is no reason that they should have occurred. These people moved at the urging of the United Nations and the Secretary of State of the United States. They were under the protection of the United Nations and the United States. There was no reason for this move. About a year ago, in front of a gathering like this, I said that it looked like Camp Liberty would be a concentration camp. When I met on, I believe it was July 1st of 2012 with Mar Martin Kubler in Paris, with Judge Mukasey present and a number of our colleagues, he was insulted that I called it a concentration camp. Well, Martin Kubler, it is not only a concentration camp, it's a killing field. And you, Martin Kubler, watched it become a concentration camp. You allowed it to become a concentration camp and you permitted it to become a killing field and the responsibility is directly on your hands. You shouldn't resign. Ban Ki-moon should fire you today! As Patrick Kennedy pointed out, responsibility is not just on the United Nations. Responsibility, unfortunately, and it breaks my heart to say this, is on my country as well. It's on the United States. First of all, when these people originally gave up their arms, they handed them over to the United States military. And as military leader after military leader has told you at conferences like this, they were promised solemnly promised the protection of the United States of America. I conclude by saying to those who are listening and will listen from the families that have lost loved ones today, who have loved ones in hospitals, or maybe not even in hospitals, but wounded uh, by this attack. Our heart goes out to you. Our prayers go to you, and most importantly, we've stood with you, but we stand with you now with even more conviction and with even more determination that these lives will not have been lost in vain. And it will lead, and it will lead, under the leadership of Madame Rajavi and your organization, to an Iran that is free, democratic, to an Iran that respects human rights, and to an Iran that is peaceful and non-nuclear. We double our commitment, we triple our commitment, and we will not rest until these goals are achieved.